That's it. I just saw you. Yeah, I told you I would see you in the next, and here you are. Good of you to join. It's time to explore more of the universe. I have decided that I will go somewhere else. Let's explore Brittle Hollow. First of all, suit. Second of all, computer. And let's see if we know anything about Brittle Hollow. This is it. Southern Observatory. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Wait. That's right. I thought... And I now see I'm, I was wrong. I thought the Quantum Moon locator on... On Ember Twin was this. I thought that was the improved version. I kind of forgot it was on Brittle Hollow. So we did not... F yeah, I was wondering because it was tracking the quantum moon, but there was nothing about the eye of the universe there. So did... Okay, I'm going here now. And also Rybeck. Rybeck headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Yes, they were trying to build a better, bigger, faster, more impressive uh, locator. Akin to the one we found on the moon. Or Adelrock. So let's go to Brittle Hollow and see if we can find that. On the South Pole. Let me mark it, actually. Brittle Hollow. There we go. Buckle up. Let's take off. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The fuck? What happened? I can't take off. Ah! Oh! What is going on? The hell am I hitting? Is this a tree? I don't know. Let's try again. Okay, now it works. That was weird. Uh, brittle... There it is. Let's just speed towards that. Oh, that's a cool effect when you go fast in the atmosphere. Engage autopilot. I forgot that was a thing. How does this work? Accelerating toward destination. Firing retro rockets. Amazing. Autopilot complete. Thanks, autopilot. So we've got something here already. Let's just explore here, I guess. Or actually... No, 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 no. Wait. Let's wait with this. Let us... Go to the south... Pole. I'm looking at the minimap right now, trying to navigate towards... So, wait a minute. It's going up towards the south? Oh, this is it, maybe. Yeah. Blue is south. Red is north. So this is the... Eye locator? There's a ship here. Let me land here. Also, I see stairs. We have landed on a new planet. I am so excited to see what's up here. And what is the gravity like? 0.9x. Okay, so that's sort of similar to Ember Twin. Is this Ryback's ship, then? Because he went here. Oh, look at this. That's so cute. He tightened it to the surface. Kind of smart to do, actually. Wait a minute. We did the same. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's just clipping through the... It's clipping through the ground. That's why it looked like he tied it down. But my ship is actually like that too. Okay, whatever. Out of Wilds Ventures. He forgot to uh, turn off his headlight. Oh my fucking god! <sighs> the fuck was that? Sounded like an explosion. What is that? 
are like little fragments in the air. Is that one? Hit, hit the planet? Is this gonna hit the planet? Ah, get up there. Here we go! No? Hmm, huh. I thought it would. Maybe just flew on the other side. I'm here! I did it! I put the shit down safely! Um, in that ship... In that ship... What did this... In that, the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. That was hard for me to say. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit the ro hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door's broken. And I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one. P probably. Hmm. I can't get inside from here. But I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Okay. Door's broken. Actually, it's the same door that was on Ember Twin. The one with the... Ding! Little ball. Uh, okay, so Rybeck went to the equator. Somewhere. Can I really not get in here? From here? Yo! Oof. Oh god, I need to wait for my fuel. Come on. There we go. Uh... Wow, we are little, literally right on the nose on the south. What is that? It's a snowflake! We are on the south pole of Brittle Hollow. Oh my god, look at this view! We have got the whistling, so we have Esker. Uh, we've got the harmonica, Felspar. Okay, so that's what crashed. It is these things. Where do they come from? Literally that. Oh my god, the planet is being bombarded by these. I wonder if I can get hit by that and die. Ah, what am I doing? Just fly down. Yeah. Right, wait a minute. I'm so stupid. I could just find Ryback this way. Yes! He's playing the banjo! 300 meters this way. Let's follow the banjo music. But wait, there was also something else on this planet. There was a distress beacon. 28 kilometers? No, that's not the right way. Here. 500 meters. That's gotta be... on the other side of the planet, right? Maybe I'll go there first. I'm kind of in the... Uh, escape pod mode right now. I'm curious to see what was going on with the vessel and all of that. So where did it go? Distress beacon. Here. Wait, where? Ah, there, I see the light. Oh yes, this is it. Oh god, I hate that sound actually. Turn it off. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's kind of, it's giving me discomfort. <laughs> it's giving me discomfort. Uh, let's land this. Beautiful. Oh! We can do this better. That's okay. Perfect. Are we on stable ground? We are. It's not going back and forth. Uh... This is very reminiscent of Ember Twin. We also had an electric cable. Escape pod one. 
Is everyone unharmed? Thatch says. Plume, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' as distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Thatch, everyone brace yourselves, swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. Yes, I've had the pleasure. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. The volcanic moon. Where is it again? Also, is the sun about to supernova? It kind of looks like a small sun from here. Wait. Oh, okay, it's just from Ember Twin. I thought it came from space. Uh, somewhere in the distance. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll go into the escape pod. Jesus Christ. That shit is so loud in my ears. Uh... Okay. Beautiful. Very familiar. Ah. I think I did the exact same thing on the other escape pod. Oh my god, get up there. Begin flight log. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Yes, so something happened to the vessel. Everyone had to fucking flee and escape everywhere into different escape pods. Launching escape pod 3, 2, and, and 1. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict, hospitable. Really? This planet? Is hospitable. With all the shit falling from the air? I mean... Maybe it is b besides that. What's this? Emergency escape hatch. Holy fucking shit! Oh! Oh my g- oh shit, what's going on here? What the fuck is that? It's like some fucked up reflection. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a fucking- is that a black hole? It is. Oh my god, they did that so well. I'm getting interstellar vibes here from the way it looks. Oh my god. There's a black hole. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, I thought it was falling. For a second there, I thought the whole thing came down. Okay, you know what I'm thinking? You thinking what I'm thinking? Nope. Surface integrity, 3%. What? That's not what I wanted. Oh, shit! Ooh! Wait, what? It's 30 kilometers away.
Wait a second. Is that another black hole? Is this like a... Is this a wormhole? I mean, the scout appeared over there, so I guess it is. But that's a white hole, if anything. Actually, uh... Wait, what? The fuck is going on? What am I looking at? Is that the white hole? It's beyond the sun right now. There's some kind of structure here. Yeah. Something is going on here. I wonder if I can jump through. I probably can. Um, what's this? Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. No shit, Sherlock. Holy fuck. You might have mentioned that a little earlier. You know? Oh god. This is so weird. Oh! Oh shit. Oh, man. oh my god, what just happened? Oh, think they are falling, they're falling, they're falling. Holy shit, the whole thing is falling. What the fuck? Look at that! Oh. And then it's gone. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Did that thing come out on this side? I mean... I can't really tell, I guess? Three minutes oxygen. Oh, fuck me. What's this? Let's recall this probe. Uh, let's keep going, hoping for trees. Hoping for trees. Oh, trees, where are you at? Surface integrity 25%. What does that mean? Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer th than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished. But remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Yes. Falling dust and rocks created by meteor impacts. Oh god, that shadow just scared me. <laughs> it's myself. What the fuck is this? I'm so sorry for cursing so much, but... What is that? More stuff is falling through. Hmm... Sorry, just thinking here. It's cool as hell. You cannot deny that. What's this? Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod, so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. Rescued? Hmm. Were they expecting more Nomai to find them in this solar system and rescue them, I wonder? Is I wonder if the distress signal, the one that I'm picking up with my signal scope, can that be detected from other star systems, like, is it actually a signal strong enough such that other Nomai could come here and rescue them? Unless they're just talking about other Nomai in this solar system coming to rescue them. Anyway, I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. 
I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. They came here because the eye signal called to them. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. <laughs> if moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier, Plume says. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Ah, I see. Oh, I almost forgot about these. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, uh shit, 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 shit. Trees, trees. I need to find trees. Oh shit. Fuck me, fuck me. Trees anywhere? Oh my god, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm just speed running a bit here, trying to find a tree. I mean, why would there be trees down here? Fuck me, I'm dead. I am dead, bro. This way? Come on, come on. Oh, there's all kinds of fucking crazy stuff here I want to read. Go, 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 go. Trees. Tree! Oh! <laughs> fucking let's go. Okay, now I want to go back from where I just came. To, I don't, I don't, I don't want to miss anything. Also, I'm getting stutters again. God, it looks so cool when you look that. Jesus fucking Christ! Uh, never mind. Oh fuck me! I guess I'm not going back. Rip. Uh, can, how far? How much farther can I go back? Where was I even? This whole planet is coming apart. Hmm. Okay, let's just... Oh shit! No, 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 no. Did we come from here? Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna read things. I'm gonna come back. Oh, I'm gonna come back. Ship log updated. Wait. The eye sent the signal to what I presume is the vessel. The vessel was damaged. It was grabbed by... Dark Bram. Okay, okay, I get it. The Nomai were in this vessel. They... They detected this signal from the eye of the universe. They came here to this solar system in search for it. But when they came here... Fucking Dark Bramble grabbed the vessel. It seems. Pulled it in. Pulled the... the pulled? the vessel inside of Dark Bramble. And that's when the vessel shot out three escape pods. One of them went to the Hourglass Twins, specifically Ember Twin, and one of them went uh, to Brittle Hollow, which is where I am right now. And I'm guessing this symbol in the middle is the black hole. One of them was sent in a random direction, it seems. Maybe it's also still inside Dark Bramble? I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Oh, they crashed into Dark Bramble. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No. Anona and I checked before the warp. And the warp core and navigation system were the systems were both well. 
The warp cores. So they had warp technology. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. That's actually heartbreaking. So this is Escape Pod 3. And they never made contact with them again? Kusa, that's a new name. We can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I am unsure how to survive in this place without you. Man, that's... I am unsure how to be me without you. I don't know why that is hitting me so hard right now. So they never rescued the people in Escape Part 3. I mean, I guess they all died in the end. Oh shit. And the whole fucking thing is collapsing. This entire... Actually, something I've noticed. The entire solar system is in complete chaos. Everything is falling apart. Changing dramatically. Fuck it. Here we go! We're gonna die anyway. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, what a view! I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this death. We survived. We know we can survive the black hole. What is behind us then? Is that the white hole? Yeah. Again! An in point and an out point. Take me. Wait, holy shit, the structure's coming in me. Oh, what the fuck? And I'm dead. And I'm dead. I feel like I get more and more confused with every single time loop. Actually, that's not true. I'm learning things about the Nomai that uh, furthers my understanding of the situation. But there's so much crazy shit happening and so many discoveries that I make. It seems a little overwhelming. Okay, what the fuck is happening here? Ooh, oh, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Let's follow it. Quick, 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 quick. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Did I miss it? Come on, go, 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 go. We're following that thing. Where are you? Is that it? Is that it? We're going. We are going. I cannot log on to it. Actually, can I... Am I even... Uh... Am I gaining on it? I'm too curious. I think I'm gaining on it. Here it is, here it is, here it is! No, 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 no! A returning to solar system. What? I see it. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't slow down too much, actually. Oh, I was an autopilot. I see. Okay, I need to somehow... 
There it is. I fucking got you. I got you now. I got you now. The hell is that? Oh! Oh shit! Ooh! The eye is on it! You see that? Actually, something I never considered. I can just leave it, right? I can just leave the ship in space. Oh. Holy fuck. There it is. Is this the eye of the universe? Did I just accidentally solve the game? Hmm. Can I do anything here? Is there like a translator tool coming up when I go close? No. Nothing. What if I go in here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is that like an ion drive or something? Uh, something tells me I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know if I'm... Scout error. Where's my ship? Right over there. Why is there a scout error? Okay, I have an idea. I am just gonna place a scout here. You can hang out there. I'm just gonna uh, go back to the solar system. I wonder how far away we are now. Uh. Ooh, what the fuck? Wow. We are... F Man, they sent this probe, huh? They really sent it. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let me select the planet. Let me go back to Brittle Hollow. Autopilot. 172 kilometers. Actually doesn't sound that crazy. It's not that far away. When you think about the distances uh, in the real world. But in this solar system, man, it's it's really far. Seems like everything is on a much smaller scale, almost like a toy model of the solar system. Now oh, here's a question. Can I exit this and it, and it still flies for me? It does, but like... I can feel the inertia. Like I'm being pulled back. Well, I'm not being pulled back. Um, I guess the friction on the ground is holding me back a little bit. I can really feel the acceleration. Let me take a look at the ship computer. Here we go. Lots of new stuff. Wow. Holy shit, the vessel. I want to look at this, but I also want to make sure we don't crash into anything. Let me uh, assume the pilot's seat. Okay, we're still far away. We have time. It's gonna be a while. Let me look at the vessel. The Nomai warped to this solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. Got it. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Right, it was trapped there. That's what I thought. Escape pod one. One of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. Old Settle... Excuse me, I have hiccups. Old Settlement. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. Yeah, I was just here. 
The Nomai abandoned the settlement over growing concerns about its stability. No shit. The whole thing is coming down, being eaten by the black hole and sent out as energy in the form of high energy jets. But wait, when I sent in my probe, it came out the other side unharmed. And so did I when I jumped in. There's more to explore here. Yeah, I figured. So we have the three murals. A mural of a Nomai vessel encountering a signal. Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. See, that's what I thought first. I thought the it, that's what it looks like in this picture. It looks like the Dark Bramble is alive. And it extended a thorn or like... Uh, some kind of root and ensnared it grabbed the vessel so it didn't crash into the vessel actually both seem possible a mural of three escape pods evacuating the nomai vessel and one of them got stuck or was left behind inside of the dark bramble itself northern settlement the nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the northern glacier they used gravity crystals to craft a stable path beneath the surface yeah, I saw a bit of this. Okay. Are we soon there yet? Are we soon there yet? Oh, wait a minute. Did we, uh... I think time stopped while we were reading... While we were reading the ship log. That's... That's what happened. I was like, man, are we still going? Really? It didn't take that long to get out there. So, now I'm also curious. <laughs> I can still take pictures from the probe or whatever this thing is the missile the the eye of the maybe this is the eye of the universe I mean it had a, it had the little uh, insignia of the eye so maybe let's just wrap in for now hmm we can abort autopilot now let me... Oh shit, wow, okay, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Lock that shit, lock it up, good. That's what we want. Actually, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. I wanna fly into the black hole. We send the probe in, we send ourselves in. Let's send ourselves in with the ship. Here we go! Yes, and we're safe. Oh my god. Wow, it even distorts the UI. Scout error. Why does he say scout error? Is it because it's so far away? It's still on the eye of the universe, right? What is this? Wait, match velocity. That looks like something that is begging to be explored. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Kawabanga! We're spacewalking. I think I can get in here. There's a, like a little ball I can move, I see. Let's just do that. Let's see what this is. Uh. Whoa, this is giving me... Wow, okay, that was confusing. Trees detected. Ooh. Oh, shit. It's a teleporter. And the light is going in. So this is the in point. Where's the out point? Pokey. Welcome to the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident. Don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Okay. So it's not teleporting, it's warping. So I guess it's the same technology that... They used to come here with their vessel. 
every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Interesting. That's Brittle Hollow. This is... This is where I am. Whoop. What is this thing? It's sucking uh, particles in. Oh look, the comet is directly overhead. Oh, I wonder if I can land on that. I probably can, huh? I want to see if my... <laughs> oh yeah, oh my god, it's completely dark out here. It's still on the... Uh, the missile? I'm just gonna call it the probe. It's still on the probe that was launched. Ember Twin Projection Stone. Right, I forgot about this. Projection. We experienced this once before. Somewhere. Woo! Oh. I'm retarded. So, uh... Should I just wait here until the, I'm aligned? Is that how that works? Wait a minute, this is, this is... This has changed. Oh, it's turning! It's slowly turning. Hmm. So I'm guessing this triangle has to be aligned with these triangles, and then we will get teleported. Or warped, sorry. That's gonna take ages, though. But there's also more to explore. I can go up. Nope. I can go down. What can I do with this tablet, though? Let's take it. With Let's just take it. See what happens. Gravity crystal? Oh man, I love the effect of the dirty glass. Ah! I get it. Oh, that's the white hole. So when we're along... Wait, let me see this. Yes, okay. As soon as this hits this one, we're being ported. I'm calling it. I mean... Here it goes. Here we go. Now I know it's coming, so I'm not gonna be scared this time. Take me. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's such a cool effect. Wow. Right in front of the quantum moon as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Um... Oh shit, fuck! Fuck! Oh, that scared the shit out of me again! I don't believe this. Holy fuck. When I arrived on that planet, uh, Brittle Hollow, I think, I was at the out point, and I was looking down, and I was noticing that the little ball in the center was white, right? So I was thinking in my head, is this like a small white hole, and we have a small black hole here? And while I was doing all those, while I was thinking about all that, I got ported back for some fucking reason. And that time I did not expect it, so I fucking got frightened again. It's just something about the sound and the way the screen warps, it freaks me out. Fuck me. <laughs> this game is bad for my heart. I'm saying that right now. So, you can go back, it seems. So, this is my theory. This is a small black hole. It sucks particles in. You can see it. It's black. And there's light coming in, right? 
the other place had a white hole. And that's where you get spewed out. But I managed to come back from there, so maybe not? I'm not sure. How, why did I go back, by the way? Let me try this again. Look up. I'm ready. Okay, let me get away from this. Jesus Christ. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Okay, we are in Brittle Hollow. Wait a minute. I have seen this stone before. I don't remember when. It was very early in the game. I saw this and I thought this looked like the solar system. Like the orbits of the planets. These have been raised and there's info now. And I read one of these before. Equip translator. Depart to chime. Yes. Return warp status charged. Step onto a warp receiver platform to activate return warp. That's what happened. I get it. Uh, see, this is curious. We arrived on Brittle Hollow. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.00001 uh, seconds. Units of time. Before we left. Which obviously uh, is problematic, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, essentially, we, we traveled back in time. I mean, it's not a lot, but... The fact that they show this, it's gotta mean something. It's probably related to the fact that I'm traveling back in time. In fact, how long, how far back am I traveling? I should try and time this. Next loop, See, I think the sun is about to go supernova anyways. It may even happen right now, actually. I have no clue. Um, I'm, I have my phone here somewhere. I have my phone here. I'm going to try and time how long it takes for the sun to go supernova. I have a theory. And the theory is that it's based on time. Hmm. It's annoying to slap across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack. So I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it, Hornfells, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any. But who knows? If ah, oh, that's what's happening. When I shoot my um when I shoot my little scout on the on this on the floor, it says surface integrity something. I bet this is what he's talking about. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Yeah, I just got warped. Okay, and my body is still recovering from that. But thank you for the fuel. Also, I'm still holding this uh, tablet. Uh, maybe I can use it here, actually. The Hanging City. Below 50 meters. God damn it. Okay, it's time to retrieve this now. You've been sitting there for far too long. <laughs> for some reason, I was expecting it to go through the little hole, just like uh, the seed on, tim on Timber Hearth. And that is pushing up, yeah. So we can't go down that way. This is destroyed. Uh, too close to target text. Clary says, also a new name. There are so many names here. I, I honestly, I have started to give up trying to track the names. To our friends in Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the Whitehall Station. On the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. I just did that. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design. But as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could... Sorry. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. That's the word I was looking for before. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you arrive earlier than you left, obviously that would violate the law of... 
It will violate causality, right? In other words, I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you can, if you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Oh, it's a... Don't tell Kasawa. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. So they thought it was an equipment error. I bet it's not. I bet it's real. Brittle Hollow. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Pokey. Poke. And they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Yes. I noticed the same thing when warping from Ember Twin to Timber Hearth. I think it was the same, the same time delay. Or the same time difference. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly 100 thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? That is indeed a possibility here. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Pokey, Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is, is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Oh, this sounds super interesting, actually. An update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins' equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Oh shit. These measurements can't be accurate. How can he arrive before? I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's have a weird-ass vision again. Wait, I'm on Ember Twin. Yeah. I see Dark Bramble. Wait, is this happening in real time? I wonder if this is in... Let's say I left my scout launcher... My scout right here. And I came to Brittle Hollow and I looked at this projection. Would I see the scout here is my question. And what would happen if I took a picture... Of this while I did this? See, now I really want to experiment here. Uh, okay, what am I supposed to see here? What is this? What is this? Some kind of thing... Funneling electricity... Is this like a solar panel? Funneling electricity into... Down here? Right, I can't leave it. Um... Oh no... Why did all... It seems like all the Nomai died. Uh, wherever they were in one instant. I saw some of them on the bed sleeping, some of them were lying on the ground. This guy's sitting on a bench. It's like they were doing normal everyday shit. And then they all suddenly just died. Which is super weird. But also intriguing. And sad, honestly. Oh my god, I just realized we've been going for almost an hour. I'm gonna wrap this episode right here. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying your time. I am indeed enjoying this game so much. Thank you a lot. See you next time.